Welcome back to another video. As you would have seen on my YouTube channel, we was out ferreting yesterday and we had 15 healthy rabbits. So what I've decided to do with the livers, I'm going to make rabbit liver pate. So what I've got here is about half a kilo of rabbit livers that I've trimmed up. And fresh liver you can't beat. I mean look, they just look beautiful, they do. So they can make a really nice pate. So other than the livers, I've got 250 grams of salted butter, one small onion that I've just quartered, two cloves of garlic, few sage leaves because sage goes really well with liver, 250 grams of smoked bacon lardons, I've got some red wine at the back but I'm just going to use a glass of red wine. So what we're going to do is just put everything into a pan and just have it on a medium heat. Right my pan's come up to temperature now, I'm not really going to sear anything off because with liver, I don't like to sear it off because I think it, you know, enhances that livery taste, what people go on about. So what I'm going to do is add my butter first. And this is just nice, gentle cooking when you make pate. And then I'm going to add in the lardons. Onions. Just like that. And I'm just going to let this sit just for about 10 minutes. Right, the butter's melting away nicely now. So I'm going to hit this with the glass of red wine. And then the rabbit livers. Put them straight in. Give everything a bit of a mix. And just before I added the wine, I did season it with um, salt and pepper. Right, now everything's in the pan. Just let this simmer out now for about an hour to an hour and a quarter. Once you've cooked out your livers, all I do is um, turn the heat off and just let it sit for five minutes. And um, we're gonna blitz it up now. You can use a food processor or what I'm going to use is a handheld processor. Right, once your pate is all smooth, get yourself a loaf tin. This is a 500 gram loaf tin, and I've lined it with cling film. And what I like to do, just for a little bit of garnish and an added touch, get one bay leaf, place it in the middle, and then spoon in your pate mixture. And then make sure you work it into all the corners and sides. And this smells really good, this does. And so you want to work with it when it's hot. It's easier to manoeuvre and fill the nooks and crannies. If you wanted to make a slightly coarse pate, once you get to this stage of blitzing it, you can add things like mushrooms and chestnuts to it. So what you do is just cook them off, roughly chop them up, and mix them through. But obviously this is just a, a smooth pate. Right, so that's full. So what you do now, once your loaf tin is full, Fold over the excess cling film, just like that. Give it a bit of a push down, and then just give it a couple of bangs, and that gets the air out and gets everything nice and tight. So what I'm going to do now is get another loaf tin, the same, put this on top, weight it down, let this come down to room temperature, put it in the fridge, and then we'll have a look at it tomorrow after 24 hours. Right then, it's the following day, so I'm just going to reveal 
this rabbit liver pate. It feels nice and firm, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. It's got a nice texture to it as well. It's firmed up. There we have it. A rabbit liver pate. It's worked really well. So if you ever get a glut of rabbit livers or want to try something different with a few livers, there's one for you. Pate.